Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to generate the email notification that contains the test execution report from Jenkins. As we know that the test execution happens on CI/CD pipeline on the daily basis. So it is a good approach to configure the notification mechanism that will notify the user whenever there is a test failure. And this notification mechanism, that is the email notification mechanism, will also have the test execution report as an attachment with it. So in order to generate the email notification from the Jenkins, these are the steps which I'm going to follow. First, I'm going to create the zip file. This zip file contains the test execution report. Then I'm going to generate the email notification from Jenkins. And this email notification will have the zip file as an attachment. For the first step, I'm going to use the Jenkins plugin and the name of the plugin is Pipeline Utility Steps. And for the second step, I'm going to use the email extension plugin. So let me show you how you can install these plugins. Just go to the Jenkins dashboard, manage Jenkins, manage plugin and look for Pipeline utility steps plugin as well as email extension. So these are the two plugins which you need to install. I have already installed these two plugins. That is why it is listing under the install tab. Otherwise, in order to search them, you need to go to the available tab. Once the installation of plugin is done, you need to restart your Jenkins. So once you have restarted your Jenkins, you need to provide additional configuration for email extension plugin. So just navigate to manage Jenkins, configure system. The configuration which we need to specify for the email extension plugin is for the SMTP server. This SMTP server will be used by Jenkins for the email delivery. So just scroll down, look for email notification. In my case, the SMTP server is running locally. That is the reason I have specified the SMTP server address as localhost. After that, click on the advance and provide the username and the password which will be used to log in inside this SMTP server. Specify the SMTP port and in case if you want to have a reply to address, specify that. So select this checkbox. Using this checkbox, you can test your configuration by sending a test mail. Both of these two users, that is this user as well as this user is already created in my SMTP server, which is running locally. So this is the test mail, which is just sent by the Jenkins. Save this configuration. After that, you need to update the pipeline configuration for the job. So the first thing what we need to do is to create the zip file. So let me open the documentation for the zip utility step. So zip. So the configuration for the zip as well as the email notification, I'm going to specify in the post build action. So zip, the first parameter is the name of the zip file. So with this configuration, you are specifying the name of the zip file. So this is the zip file which get generated or created under the target folder. The reason why I use the target folder is because if you look at our project structure, whenever we execute our test, all the report generation happen under the target. So that is the reason I specify the location of the zip file under the target folder. Then the second configuration is the archive which I'm going to set as true. The third configuration is the 
dir which will specify the location from where the zip target will pick up the file for creating the zip file so in our case all the reports are getting generated under the surefire report folder which is under the target folder so i will specify this location in the directory configuration and then i will use the fourth configuration that is overwrite so in case if there is a zip file already present with this name it is going to overwrite which will have the new information so this particular configuration is going to create the zip file and it will use this directory as a source directory for creating the zip file the second configuration which we need to specify is for the email notification so the configuration is email text then we need to specify the subject and for the subject i'm going to use this is string format as you can see here in the subject i have used the env.job name as well as env.build number so env represent the environment in terms of the jenkins pipeline configuration and these are the environment variable which are available out of the box which you can use directly if you want to learn more about this environment variable you can again look for the documentation so these are the other environment variable which you can use in your Jenkins pipeline configuration. After that, we need to specify the body. Then I will specify the attachment. So this is the attachment. And the last configuration is the desired user email ID. Which is this. So in this case, the email notification along with the attachment will be delivered to this user. So let me save this and then click on build with parameter and build this job. So the execution is done and as you can see here, we have received the notification from the Jenkins. The subject of the notification mail is the name of the job followed by the build number. And as you can see here, it has an attachment, which is the test execution report in the form of zip file. So in this manner, you can send the email notification from the Jenkins for the test execution.